Valley's leading news program with meteorologist Brittany Boyer, Jamie Apodi, and Walter Perez. An expected record-breaking travel day with rain in the forecast. The TSA says tomorrow will be one of the busiest days at airports across the country as millions head home from their Thanksgiving holiday. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is the potential mess for travelers come to, uh, coming home tomorrow. The TSA expects to screen 2.9 million people across the country, which would be the previous record, beating it set back in June. When it comes to the roads, the worst traffic is expected, of course, between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Action News has team coverage of the challenges you might face on the roads and rails and skies. Reporter Brianna Smith is live at Philadelphia International Airport, but let's check in with meteorologist Brittany Boyer first with today's or tomorrow's forecast. Brittany. And looking at conditions tonight, no issues. If anybody has a late night flight, you can see some quiet weather across the Northeast. But if we expand the map on out, you can see there is a mess in the middle of the country, not that in the extended forecast, Walter. All right, thank you, Brittany. Let's switch live to Philadelphia International, where the TSA is preparing for a record number of travelers. Action News reporter Brianna Smith had details tonight. Brianna. Yes, Walter, it's time to head home right now. The flight aware shows there are 85 delays at the airport, but no cancellations. And earlier on the road, some drivers unfortunately had to sit in traffic. But despite the travel troubles, passengers we spoke to say they're happy to be home. After a Thanksgiving weekend filled with food and family, yeah, of course, he couldn't miss the Eagles game. Now, AAA says tomorrow is supposed to be an even busier travel day. They say the worst time to drive is expected to be between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. So if possible, leave early. Reporting outside the Philadelphia International Airport, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Okay, Brianna, thank you. Keep the 6ABC app handy as the wet weather moves in tomorrow. You can view live interactive radar so you can be aware of the current conditions before you head outside. Police are investigating a deadly double shooting in the Juniata Park section of the city. Officers responded to the scene here at the 40 Hunter block of Ormond Street at about 8. Much more to common action news. How much are you willing to pay with a perfect Christmas tree? We break down the main reasons why you'll be shelling out more for your tree this year. Also, this kid has a big heart for sure. We introduce you to an eight year old from Montgomery County whose motto is make every kid happy. You don't want to miss that story. And meteorologist Brittany Boyer has your exclusive AccuWeather 7-day forecast when Action News comes right back. Today was day two of the expected four-day ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. Following a delay, Hamas agreed to release 13 Israel Israeli hostages and four Thai citizens in exchange for 39 Palestinian prisoners in Israel. The delay over accusations of Israel violating the temporary ceasefire agreement by not allowing enough humanitarian aid. All right, time for a check now of the accurate forecast, including cold and rain to wrap up the holiday weekend. Meteorologist Brittany Boyer has details from AccuWeather. Brittany. Yes, it's going to be feeling a lot colder around here. If you thought it was chilly today, I have even colder temperatures in the extended forecast. We'll look at that in a little bit. Looking outside right now, Sky 6 Live, temperatures in a lot of areas are already down into the 20s, but we are dry at this moment. Looking at the forecast for tomorrow, though, notice our chances for precipitation with measurable rainfall. So the latest drought monitor showing a lot of yellow on the map. Those are abnormally dry conditions, but as you get west of the city here, down into Newcastle County, South Jersey, that's where we are experiencing a moderate drought, so we could use some rain around here. So tomorrow rain developing into the afternoon. The system departs. We have a windy day on Monday with a high of 50 degrees and then Walter the blustery and coldest day of the week Tuesday with a high of just 39 degrees. Oh boy. All right. Thank you, Brittany. Be sure to wake up with the Action News morning team. Get the morning's top news headlines and weather starting at 6 a.m. only on 6 ABC and wherever you stream Action News. Action News, Delaware Valley's leading news program, now continues. It is 1030 on a Saturday night. I'm Walter Perez. Here's what's happening on Action News this half hour. The former officer serving time for the death of George Floyd is recovering from a prison stabbing. Tonight, officials believe the attack was... It was mid-August when a 36-year-old mother from Philadelphia was last seen. Now her family, friends, and investigators are reaching out to you for help. Here is Rick Williams with tonight's Crime Fighters report. 
Bill Cornelius is the father of Alicia Brown's baby boy, but he also cares for Brown herself. I'm the person. Shoppers were eager to get their hands on Black Friday deals while toggling through tabs and virtually virtual shopping carts. Americans managed to get a new record for online spending. This morning, Adobe Analytics reported a $9.8 billion receipt from yesterday's holiday shopping spree across the country. That's up 7.5% from last year. The average amount spent per shopping trip was $124, with the top sellers including personal care, clothing, and kitchenware. Adobe also predicts the upcoming Cyber Monday deals will be much more to come in action news. Want to earn back some of that cash you're spending during shopping? There are a few apps that allow you to do just that year-round. And Nick Sirianni has an important message for his friends who are traveling from Buffalo to South Philadelphia for the Bills game tomorrow. Brittany. And we have an important message. If you're going to the game, you might want to pack the poncho. I'm tracking rain for Sunday. I'll have that and more when Action News returns. All right, time for a check on sports with the Sixers in action facing the Thunder. Gabriella Galati joins us live in studio with the recap. Gabriella. Yeah, it was an exciting one on the road for the Sixers. They were facing the Thunder. Back-to-back -back losses for the Sixers snapped tonight in Oklahoma City. Joel Embiid back in the lineup tonight after missing the last game with a hip issue. Under a minute and a half to go, DeAnthony Melton from the corner hits a three. Sixers go up seven. Now seven seconds to go. It's a five-point game. The Thunder scoring leader tonight, Chet Holmgren, knocks in the three, gets OKC within two. Nick Nurse looking a little antsy there. Embiid from the free throw line to put this one to bed. He shot six straight free throws within the final 10 seconds, pushing the Sixers to a 124 to 121 victory. Next up, LeBron and the Lakers come to town on Monday night. Great performance, a lot, a lot of good stuff. Etc. But as everybody's seeing around the league, there's some wild finishes and the games, you know, they're, they're not over it. Rep is hard to stop. They are. They're really hard to stop. <laughs> All right, thank you, Brittany. Thanks for joining us for Action News at 10. Now for Brittany Boyer, Gabriella Galati, Jamie Apodi, and the entire Action News team, I'm Walter Perez. Have a good night. We'll see you back here tomorrow.